Hello and welcome back to some more Darkwood. I hope you're all keeping well. Let's continue on with the episode. Oh, play through. Uh, so in the previous episode we found a um, found a village. So we're going to go back there and have a look around. See what's around it then. But I really don't think they like us in this town. It seems they keep on telling me to get away from them. An odd looking mushroom. Wondering if there's any side quests or anything in here we can do. And if there isn't, then we can just carry on exploring the um the new area. Here. I dreamt of my mother today. Oh, what's that? Is that a well? You have zero. So we need a chain then. This place doesn't have a map either. Get the fuck away from my home. Okay, and we found the, uh, what, what a joyous day. We shall meet again today. I hope she'll enjoy what I've prepared for her. She hasn't had an appetite lately, but it's okay. We have our ways around that, don't we? She must eat rich meals. I've dug out something delicious for her today, my queen. Only I can be close to her. No one else. No one. No one else will get close to you anymore. You need to eat everything I bought you. Can't make out the rest, but there's a uh, there's two numbers on the side there in red. There's two and eight, so I'm wondering if we've got another piece we can find. It might unlock. Yeah, so this must be the code then. So T A. Have I got anything more? Oh, fucking hell. Mamma scribbles, uh, two eights. Ain't got a clue what the other one could be. I could guess, but that'd be a shit ton of poss possible bloody two numbers, really. The fuck is that noise?
trees. The trees humming beautifully. Solution for removing intestinal parasites. Pour the petroleum over the nuts. Add propolis. Put away for a couple of days. Drink one tablet spoonful per day. Okay. It seems as if time stops when we're in this village as well, so that's pretty good. Very weird. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Need to find a chain from somewhere. It's locked, I need a key. Could open it with a lockpick. Have I got all the stuff I can use to make a lockpick? Nah. There's a bloody staircase in there. Is there a way we can get in there? Ah, oh, we need the keys, don't we? I'll tell you what, we'll get out of the village for the time being then. We'll explore a little bit, see what we've got around us. Well, actually, I, shouldn't, I should really go and offload this shit I got, shouldn't I? In all honesty. Kill the pig. With a dead look. Kill the pig. Okay, let's try and kill the pig. Game's just kind of trying to give us a hint, so... I don't think that's the one pig we need, though. I have a funny feeling it's the pig where the sick man is.
But I didn't do shit. Are you a moth? He must be a moth. I don't know, that doesn't seem human to me. Rusty key! So now, perhaps... Maybe, maybe... None of my keys fit. What the fuck? be killing these pigs. I swear, but I don't want to piss off the villagers and then, and then they just start coming for me. No. None of our keys Bro, there's a will, there's a way. I need to keep that dead rat because I can trade that in for, um... Who the hell are you? Help yourself whatever you fancy. But don't tell anyone about it. Uh, we need some lock picks. The thing I can think of doing is going back to that woman that says kill the pig, talk to her and see if anything has changed. If not, I'll cut and go back to um back to base. Come back with some lock picks maybe. Where does this lead?
Door is blocked from the other side. Come on, there's got to be an entrance in there somewhere, surely. No door. Need a key. None of our keys fit. This is weird. I'll cut and then I'll come back. Okay, so I got uh, I got the chain and I got a lockpick. I didn't have enough for more lockpicks, but. But we can enter the well now as well. tunnels. I love tunnels. And there's something in here. Perfect. <coughs> oh, sorry. is actually pretty strong. Turn to the surface there. Should probably have a look around a bit more first, I think. Whatever the hell that is, is dead. Alright, so it seems to be just one connecting tunnel, just a few different routes. to the surface. No idea where it's going to take us, but... Oh, we're inside the um, room I was trying to get in. Dog tag. A couple of chicken eggs. Bread, some more plastic chickens. There's a lot of bloody chicken eggs in there. A key. 
he covered in chicken feces? None of my keys fit. A large mushroom. A large mushroom. <sighs> Now we just got to find out where the hell this bloody chicken key goes. Uh, if you got any tips or anything for this game, like I say, just leave them in the corner comments. A shiny stone has been pressed into the mud-covered head. Take a stone. I carefully remove the stone. Leave. There's the old woman washing her clothes on the lake. Right, a chicken in feces covered key. There is an area I wanted to get into because I'm sure there was a staircase there. Oh, that light is the um thing in it. I'm sure the house is over here somewhere. Nobody want to talk to me? Bloody hell. Where am I going? Where is this fucking place to? Chicken down here. Hello, chickens. The wooden floor is chick is. Oh, the chicken lady. Okay. The old lady squints at me, her eyes full of suspicion. She hugs her chickens possessively. Better keep them hands off me hens, you bloody scoundrel. The old lady puts one of the hens to her ear, mumbling under her breath. After a moment, she calms down. I've seen me share of things, lived through many a war, but nothing like this. Lord be my witness, this accursed land ain't a place for men, ain't a place for hens. Gossip. Thank the Lord for our so poor thing seems sickly. But she has more life in her than the lot of us, if you ask me. Only thanks to her we got something to put in the pot these days. Hell's bells, where did you get it? Where did you find it? The old lady seems to stir up. The hens fell silent. I can feel the tension in the air. Holy mother, it's Janik's little hen. A gift from me, my little brother. A couple of days ago, he got mad. I told him, stay here not. One of them brainy fellas, you know, nothing. But he wouldn't listen, and off he went to the other fella. Here, take this. He went to see this fella, see him. He never came back. The lady shoves a crumpled photo in my hand. A 
photo of the doctor. The woman trembles violently. The hen on her shoulder struggles to maintain balance. You are all I have, my little sisters. I do. It's been six years since I've been there last. This road used to lead to the other village. You could also take it to get to the city, not that far from here. You won't get there now, though. These devilish trees have overgrown everything. Back. Gossip. Fella knocked her up with this abomination even longer. The old lady smiles kindly, bearing her three yellow teeth. It was a long time ago, but you remember it still, my little hen, don't you? Holy mother, this creep again. May the devil take him and his blasted violin. The old lady turns red and starts to scream. Devil fucked your mother. Get away from me, house. I'm sorry it won't happen again. Talk to the musician. It, it's not my fault, I know it doesn't sound too great, my violin, it's a bit broken, I won't play anymore, sorry. Um, sir, have you been in that hut, the chicken lady's hut? You're not afraid of her? You're brave. And have you seen her, the pretty lady? She's the most beautiful lady in the world. I watch her through the cracks in the window. She changes when I watch her. It gets more beautiful. I play for her. I want to be happy because she doesn't seem to be. The chicken lady's locked her in that room. She keeps her there. She envies her. She won't allow anyone to see her, even me. She knows very well that during the last couple of nights, I fished out the pretty lady's reef from the river. Yes, sir, the chicken lady knows what it means. Oh, yes, I will become the pretty lady's husband. We will walk in hand in hand, sir. I will, I will play for her, mister, sir. I tried to release her, but the chicken lady she chased me off. She always does. I also looked for the second key at Mr. Jan's, but now he's disappeared. I don't know how to get into his house. Nod. So kind, so very kind. You are just like him, my daddy. But my papa has changed, mister. Just like my mummy. They will not listen to me. They won't hear how sad I am, sir. Oh, but I am not boring to you, sir. Please, don't go. Please hear me out. Don't go. Nervous grunting can be heard from underneath the tractor. Perhaps you could help me. Please, please, find the cake, uh, the key, good sir, to the pretty lady's room. The chicken lady has it. Well, Mr. Jin, Jan also has it. I saw him recently near the well. He used to play with me through the rocks into the well and I looked into our reflections while making silly faces. Daddy used to say not to do it, else my face will stay that way. Now the water in the well is just as hazy. It shows these weird images. There it is, the villager. Maybe you will find him there. He used to hang around it often and stare into the well as if looking for something or someone. I must hide now, hide from the chicken lady. I will go to that place where they used to keep all the grain in the southeastern part of the silent forest. Will you bring me the key if you find it? I promise to repay you somehow, me and the pretty lady. Uh, You're amazing, mister, sir. Thank you, thank you. The boy shuffles his legs. He's visibly excited, but also seems uncomfortable. I have the key, but I don't have the courage. She's beautiful, my pretty lady. I just look at this violin, mister. She will laugh at me. And it is her I always play for. Securing this mass off together with his ear, the boy reattaches it as if nothing's happened. What the fuck? But maybe my mum has a beautiful violin. I would ask her to borrow it to me, but she's too angry with me. Could you please convince her to borrow it? Jesus Christ, this fucking kid's talking weird. To me, I'll give you a card with drawings for her to apologise when she gets it. She will surely stop being angry and she will borrow us the violin. It's behind the cupboard. My mummy always hides it there. Please, mister, bring me this violin. You're not afraid of anything anyway. There's nothing to be scared of. 
You will find my parents' house in the southwestern part of the old woods. If you come back with my mum's violin, I will try to get you an appointment with the doctor because you look pretty sickly. I will be waiting for you near the old church in the northwestern part of the old woods. Okay. So we gotta go to the old woods then. Fair enough. Uh, right. Well, that I'm gonna end that episode here. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And uh, I'm guess we'll try and find the old woods in the next episode then. Try and get this side quest done. But uh, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.